All right, everyone, let's do a Schrodinger's cat. We haven't done one of these in a while. We've been so busy with other readings. So, Schrodinger's cat's a science experiment. In the science experiment, it looks at uh, there's a cat in a box with an isotope box closed. Cat fluctuates between dead and alive. You open the box, you find out which universe you're in. In this particular case, with the tarot reading, we use it as a timeline indicator. All right, it can tell us a lot of things. It's accurate if you play the game right. I got the famous Schrodinger's cat quarter here. I'm going to shuffle the deck right now, and I'm going to give you two animals, all right? And you're just picking an animal, that's all. The coin will decide which animal goes with which card. Watch them both. There's no time stamps here. This particular reading could definitely be future influence for you. And the question is, do you have your eye on somebody? Hmm? Is it somebody you like or somebody you just started seeing? Or you got a friend you'd like to take further? Whatever it is. Any, anyone you want to know about, all right? We're going to find out if they're a dead cat or a live cat. How about that? We'll put it that way. All right. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Uh, this reading is timeless, as with all the Schrodinger cats, and there's a whole uh, playlist of these. Keep in mind, we do not talk about Schrodinger's cat on social media. You will, not the animals, not anything. Just forget it exists on social media, please. You deny somebody else a chance to play the game. Because while both of them may apply, it could be future influence or one could be advice for the other. Everything is energy. Everything is connected. Your primary choice is your primary choice. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. So you got your eye on somebody? All right. Let's see. You want to know about a person? Are they a live cat or a dead cat? I don't know. Let's find out. Two cards face down. Here we go. Mm, let me put these off to the side. We will clarify with the witches. How about that? Two animals. Huh. Uh, a hippopotamus or a platypus. Which are you? One. You got two seconds. One, two. All right. Hippopotamus is t uh, heads. Platypus is tails. Let me give it a flip. Oh, it's heads. It's heads. So this is hippopotamus. This is platypus. Hippopotamus, platypus, hippopotamus, platypus. I do that for me because I, I fucking forget all the time. Okay, let's start with hippopotamus. Live cat or dead cat? Well, it's a bit of a, it, it's a live cat. Ten of cups. It's a nice card. Uh, it could be a whole lot of pie in the sky though. Somebody might be, you might be over, and well if this is someone you got your eye on, you might be over inflating them. And, and who they might be to you and what they are and all that and what could be. Uh, if it's, you know, again, just as a, as a person, if I'm to look at it, it's someone here who might, uh, who might have big dreams. Whether or not they can do them or not, I don't know. But certainly here there's potential for happiness. So I'm going to call it a live cat. All right. It's a live cat. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Let's see what the witches have to say. Also, uh, if this is somebody that you're wondering, you have your eye on them and you're wondering if they like you, they do. Okay, they do. Um, you might be popping into their dreams, actually, or they might be popping into yours. All right, all right. I'm going to try to cover the gambit here and do my best. It's kind of a broad spectrum question, but yeah, that's all right. What's crossing it? Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself with this person type of energy here. All right, stop. Slow down. Slow down. Assess the situation. Make sure someone's telling you the truth. Make sure you're not over inflating, putting this person on a pedestal or making them out to be more than what they are. Things. I'm not saying they're lying to you. I'm just saying, hey, hey, slow down. Uh, if this is a connection, this is a bit like the way I see connections sometimes between Cancerians and Pisces, uh, Pisces people. Uh, you got a Cancer and a Pisces in a relationship together. For this is just an example. For an example, it can be a little dreamy. It can get a little dreamy in the energy, and and it can lose a little substance along the way. It can you can completely shut out the world and lose yourselves and things like that. It's that kind of energy that's here. So it's best just to try to try to keep some perspective. Okay, that's the crossing energy. What's on top? Six of Cups. Uh, whatever this energy is. It's a soulmate energy, all right? If it's a friend, fine. If it's just somebody you got your eyes on, I don't care who it is. Uh, you, you've known this person before, okay? You have. Mm -hmm. Center energy, 
red with the seven of pentacles is the moon again this ten uh, I'm gonna call it pie in the sky and you can take that and run with it however you want to this is a dreamy energy okay keep that in mind don't over inflate somebody don't put somebody on a pedestal don't, it just there's again there's just there's things that you might want to take a look at there's hidden things here the moon talks about hidden energies and things along those lines nobody's perfect it's a, it, it, there's nothing bad happening here it's just again there's a real check yourself before you wreck yourself energy in other words just get some perspective on it make sure you know again just be cool kind of energy here what's red with the six of cups three of pentacles that's nice um this is likely an energy of somebody that you were partnered with in some way in a past life this is somebody uh, or again or it might have been in your past in this life this could be somebody you were part it could be somebody you work with or something along those lines but i'm really getting kind of a dreamy past life kind of energy here so if you've got your eye on somebody again be sure and assess the situation it might it might you you could make mo mountains out of molehills in the in, in the positive sense sometimes we use mountains out of molehills uh in a negative sense you can also do it in a positive sense right you can you could take things like and run crazy with it just be cool all right the, the truth of what this is is under the surface there are some things that th this person whoever this person is they do have a past okay there are some things here uh, but take it slow. You'll be fine. This is somebody you can definitely have a solid foundation with. All right, platypus. Let's see what we got here. I'll pull a bridging energy at the end, by the way, and we'll see what energies tie these together. Uh, platypus, ace of wands. Uh, it's a live cat. You notice my tone, right? It's a live cat. Yeah, you can have. You got. You could have something that could just transform with this person transform your lives um, but there's a bit of wind here that can blow that out let's take a look let's let's see what the witches have to say on this it is two live cats although I would this is more of a, a, a cat that come it's like a cat that it comes that, that you leave food out for and you see it when it eats and then it runs off we had a cat like that for a, for a little while we leave food out for it we didn't get too creative with his name. We called it Kitty Witty. But, you know, he would show up. We'd see him every once in a while, and he'd hang out for the food, and then he'd take off and just, you know, run wherever, <laughs> and then come back. It's like that. Um, it, there's a bit of wind around this Ace of Wands. What's crossing the Ace of Wands here, universe? Yeah, the King of Wands. Yeah. Um, there's something phony about this. Again, I'm still calling it a live cat. There's an attraction here, but is there more than that? Okay, there's an attraction here, but be sure and ask yourself, is there more than that? And again, everything is energy. Everything is connected. So this is a check yourself before you wreck yourself energy. This is something here that might start out very hot with this person, whoever this energy is. And again, it could be future influence. All right, it could be. Uh, it could start out very hot. I mean, I'm serious. Crazy plaster falling off the walls kind of hot. Um, but there's not a lot of substance with the King of Wands. It is that cat that comes and goes sort of a thing. Let's see. Here we go. I mean that literally, I suppose, based on my plaster falling analogy. What's on top? The Eight of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. You might, you might wonder with this whether there's anything more. You know, is there more than just that plaster falling off the walls, banging? Is there anything more than that? It's you could get it. This is the these are the type of connections. Be careful. These are the type of connections that you can really get in your head about, and could drive you crazy. All right, you can almost feel trapped in it the way she feels. I mean, you you're not literally trapped. You can get out, but she feels trapped on this card. You can because well, if the banging's real good, it's hard to walk away from that. Because especially if you don't have anything else, you know, it's that if for no other reason, because this is very hot with the King of Wands here. I mean, it's a hot looking card, too. I got a lot of heat here. All right. But is there anything more? I haven't seen it. What's the center card read with the King of Wands? Maybe we'll see it now. Page of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. 
you're, you're going to have to, this is my little explorer page, right? You're going to have to dig if there's anything more here. I got wands, 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 and you up in your head. Is there anything else? Is this all it is? Is it just hot sex? Is that all it is? It might be. It might be. You know, but hey, life is short. Enjoy that while you get it. There's a lot of boring sex out there too, I'll tell you. Right here, the bottom card right here is red with the Eight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Again, it's a repeat. Uh, again, my read spot on here. I said about this, sitting on top of an Ace of Wands. I got an Ace of Wands read with this. It's what I said. It's you up in your head. Is there anything else? It's like you try to find, you try to explore and find something else, and then the person comes over, you bang, and then you're like at the end of it. Again, it's a, it's a feedback loop. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. I think this is, I'm just going to say it. It's a live cat, but it's kitty witty. It's, it's the cat that comes, he eats the food, he takes off, kind of lets you pet him, but he kind of is on his own, you know. He was always like a wild cat in the neighborhood, but he took to us, and so we kind of had him. But he would come and go, and it's like that. It, it is, it's sort of a friend with benefits. This would be a friend with benefits energy, which is always in those situations best to stay out of your head. All right, try not to dig for more. Things, try to remember this, things are what they are. People are who they are and things are what they are. As long as you know why you're doing something, like in this case here, if you're doing it for the plaster falling off the wall banging, fine. Then that's all it is. Don't try to read too much into it. But there isn't much more than that. There really isn't. In fact, with the magician here, it's a whole lot of smoke and mirrors. It really is. Just because just the sex is good don't mean that you can have a long-term relationship. You don't build a relationship on that. Sex is the byproduct. Of, of a stable relationship. It's not the basis. All right. Okay. Uh, let's pull the light seer deck here. The light seer. And let's pull some bridging energy. What's the bridging energy between Ten of Cups and Pie in the Sky? And just some amazing. I mean, film that if you can. I mean, that's wow. You know, I'll put it up on my YouTube channel. That's that's some that's some amazing. <laughs> I get 18 plus all the time anyway. What's the difference? That's this is that's hot. It's hot. Stay out of your head though. Stay out of your head. Uh, it's probably all there is. You know, just like that cat. Kitty Witty was never gonna be our pet cat that laid around on the sofa and we got and watched TV. It's a no no no. He was having none of that. Alright? Let's go. Bridging energy between ten cups and the ace of wands, between a hippopotamus and a platypus. What do we got here? What's going on? Bridging energy. What is it? What is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I'm always transparent with you guys. I look at the bottom card. I throw the top card. So the top card is the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Round, both of these energies, you can change from whatever they are now into something. Okay. Uh, it, it's all, again, it's all fine. There's nothing negative on either side. They're both live cats with the Wheel of Fortune here. But I've got the, uh, crossing the Wheel of Fortune, I've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, so in either case here, there's a there's an element of phoniness. We see it here on this side with you, you think this this person is the bee's knees, right? But there's some there's some stuff you don't know about. See, the Queen of Wands hides hides things on this side over here. Again, more freaking wands, just passion, passion, passion. Uh, King King of Wands was was crossing, so it's the King and Queen of Wands. That's it's not the best relationship in the tarot. But they do have some hot banging. I'm going to tell you that right now. They do. Uh, try not to get in your head about that. Okay, let's uh, bri um, bridging energy between six cups and uh, eight swords. I don't believe this is a soulmate per se or someone. I don't get a strong indication that you've known this person for many lifetimes and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just a strong attraction. It is. You're both curious about each other. That's probably why the banging's good. You get that curiosity, right? You know, it is. It's nice. All right. Not right, fine. Uh, Six of Cups and the Eight of Swords. What's the bridging energy there? Good Lord Almighty. What's going on? Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is before I pull the damn cards. Uh, yeah, there it is. The Knight of Swords. In this case over here, this is a, a, a soulmate connection. And you might want to speak that, you know. It, it can also cause you, you might end up being the runner over here. Okay, my hippopotamus people, you might end up being the runner. All right, it's possible. Over here, you're, you're, it's possible. 
Not, not always, but it is possible. It, both of these move pretty fast. However, on this side over here, my platypus people, you might get in your head about this a little too much. Again, it's saying the same thing. Um, what the energy I got while I was shuffling was again the, the bridging energy between the two is sort of this almost frantic nature to it. You're both trying to figure something out about the connection when you just need to accept things for what they are and let them play out. Take it nice and slow, like the Seven of Pentacles crossing here said. All right, always be cool. That's one of the main messages of my channel. Always be cool. It's, it, it is, it's just like that. I mean, it's just, you'll save yourself a whole lot of pacing, eight of swords stuff and pacing the kitchen at two in the morning. I'll tell you that. Uh, moon and the, uh, not, uh, I almost called it a knight, page of pentacles, oh, page of wands. I mean, all of that. It, it's a knight of something, wands, pentacles. It's weird, weird energy. It's a, it's a curious energy. All right. Let's go. Uh, bridging energy between the moon and the page of wands. What is it? Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> this is all very interesting. Uh, the hermit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, it's... Yeah. Well, it's crossed by the eight of wands. There, I don't know why there's a rush here for some reason. A frantic rush. The hermit wants to slow... This one over here, again, on this side, slow down. All right, there's some, it's always, somebody's always got secrets. Uh, something's happened. It's not like the person showed up and just generated in front of you this perfect person. They've had a life. They've had things happen to them. They all, everybody got some kind of hang up, some kind of something. Um, and you're going to feel that. You will. But over here, this curiosity, try not to, it's one thing to be curious about another person. And, and is there anything more here or is it just wands? It's one thing to be curious about another person. It's another thing to kind of frantically try to find something that isn't lost. You know, just this, this little uh, page here, he's got all the time in the world. To, it's summer vacation. He's got all the time in the world to go frolicking in the woods and find frogs and lizards and things like that. Just, you know, again, it's a message of just be cool. There's some kind of frantic, it's always fast energy here. Bridging energy between the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. What is it? What is it? Of all the Schrodinger's cat readings I've done, I will say, these are the two, all, every, you're, they're always connected, and we can see sort of how, but these are the two that are the most separate, okay? Uh, definitely two distinct, even though they're both live cats, they're two very different cats, all right? One will lay on the couch with you, the other one. Uh, three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, what's the bridging energy here? What's the bridging energy here? What is it? What, 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 what? Three of cups crossed by, just for reference so we can look at it, keep the theme going, the ace of wands. All right. Uh, in, both, in both cases here, uh, excuse me, in both cases here, there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion. All right. There really is. Um, and there's something to be learned from each of these experiences with the Hierophant here. Um, the Hierophant crossing the Ace of Wands, I, have, I get the impression from the energy that in either case here, everyone's, either side is going to think that this can go long term. And, and I, I'd like you to stop that with things. That's putting an expectation on an outcome. And again, I always tell you, be neutral for the outcomes. The real theme here is to be neutral for the outcomes. Let things are what they are. Let them play out. It's an old Buddhist principle of all things settle on their own. Let, let it alone. If, if it's great, if it's hot, if plaster's falling off the walls, the neighbors complain, they're banging, knock it off, knock it off, right? You know, just enjoy it. It's one of those moments in life. And over here, don't put anybody on, on pedestals or anything or think. The Three of Pentacles talks to that. It's about working together. It's about building a solid foundation, but it's about doing it right, right? Starting and doing it, doing it right. All right, that, that's what we got here. Just be open with how you feel. Acknowledge how you feel. But don't go batshit crazy with it. There's a lot of fast energy here. There's, 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 in, in either case, there's something very important to learn that helps you with your spiritual growth. All right? You won't learn it by fast forwarding through it and running crazy. I, I wrote about that in my Spiders from Mars article about my fast forwarders here. They can't even sit through a reading. 
Oh my God, oh my God, they got to fast forward to it. Oh God, he's doing that and he's saying that. You never know what I'm going to say, even in the intro. You get people that fast forward through the intro. The intro, you won't know what the hell's going on with this. You're going to miss the whole lesson half the damn time. People that do that, it's an energy that carries over. In other words, it's like work ethic. It carries over. So if you fast forward, you can't sit through a video or a TV show. You fast forward through life. You miss the lessons. Just enjoy moments. All you have is this current moment. Enjoy it for what it is. All of this. All right? It is what it is. But there are two live cats. And there's a lot you can learn from this here. So it's nice. Uh, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I do my best with these. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right? It is what it is. Everything is what it is, including my readings. All right. Good luck.